what habits would your higher self be doing? That is the question that sparked this video as I was deep in my desires of food a couple weeks back and I was seeing how it was slowing down my brain function. I was I was literally seeing how it was creating this this dense energy within me. And I had to sit back with myself and ask myself, are these habits that I'm building around certain relationships with the physical experience, are they the habits that are aligned with my higher self? Are they the habits that are aligned with the life that I've asked for? And so I feel as a collective, we have to really begin to ask ourselves, what story do we want to live? And then based on the story we wish to live, how do we begin to cultivate that story by our thoughts, by our habits that we are building? Because it's those thoughts that then form into action that then over time repeated become habits that then become the story that we are living, that then become the reality that we are living. And so we have to take that, take that real look, right? We have to be willing to be honest with ourselves and ask ourselves, where can I begin to redirect my energy? Am I conscious, constantly just on my phone, scrolling on TikTok, scrolling on shorts, right? If I'm spending an hour, two hours, however long it is on doing that, ask yourself, what could I be doing differently? Could I pick up a book? Could I go outside? Could I walk in nature, right? If I'm playing the game all the time, right? Could I pick up a book? Could I go outside? Could I maybe cook myself a meal, right? It's when we start to allow ourselves to think differently outside of the same old habitual patterns that we've built, we can begin to see a new life. We can begin to see life from a different perspective, but we have to consciously begin to one, have that real conversation with ourselves and ask ourselves if the habits that we are building right now are aligned with the life that we wish to create. And I want to state something that it's not necessarily meaning that we're never going to come back to it, but sometimes we need to take a step away from certain things so that we can go rebuild ourselves and then come back a new version, right? And so it's when we allow ourselves that space from the old habitual patterns, maybe we outgrow it, maybe we come back to it, but the importance is allowing ourselves that space away from the old, right? Let it die, let it go away and choose to create something new, choose to create new habits that allows us to think differently, that allows us to see ourselves differently, right? Maybe instead of the first thing we do when we wake up is get on our phone, we choose to take a moment, right? Go outside. You don't even have to, right? I'm not going to say you don't even have to meditate because meditation can be so many things, but you can just go outside, listen to nature for a few minutes, right? Allow your mind to really fully just digest and wake up before we hit it with the overstimulization stim that is our phone, right? Allow our brain to, to function and allow our body to begin to regulate. It's little simple tweaks that if we can turn into habits in our life, we can literally begin to start living a new reality. Last week, we talked about the inner healing tool belt, right? The ways that we can begin to use certain mindful tools to begin to raise our vibration. And so if we can take one, take two, three, or all seven of them that we talked about, right? And all three parts, definitely go check that out, right? If we can take that and begin to implement those into our lives, we are beginning to direct this energy that once went to scrolling on TikTok, once went to playing the game all day, once went to chasing these females or, or these males, right? And begin to direct that back into ourselves and begin to shine light on ourselves, right? Beginning to see the darkness that once held us back and begin to alchemize this darkness, allowing us to begin to raise our vibration. And, and it goes back to allowing us to see life in new light, right? It, it gives us that new perspective because we're no longer operating in the same loop. 
So by building new habits, takes us out of that loop and gives us a new perspective. And that, my friends, is the power of building new habits and how it can create a new reality for you. Thank you so much for joining me here. My name is Mark Anthony, and this is Elevated Talk. Peace to the collective and gratitude to the ancestors, all right? I'm not even going to go on a, on a rant about how you can support the channel. If you're liking the content, you, y'all know y'all know where the supporting buttons is, all right? Welcome to the Cosmic Show. Peace.